Now, increasingly, the stresses and strains of uh, modern life affect us all, and increasingly, many of us are turning to alternative medicines, or uh, not necessarily to the exclusion of conventional medicines, sometimes using them um, in tandem. Now I have Roisin O'Kelly from the College of Naturopathic. I've just been practicing how to say because I always get it wrong. <laughs> medicine and joining us is Jim Grogan. And Jim, you suffered from hypertension and stress and headaches. And Roisin, natura, tell us what naturopathy is and how you treated Jim for these okay. symptoms. Naturopathy is the use of many different healing tools together. So you wouldn't just give advice on diet or advice on herbs or advice on homeopathy. You'd use all of them together. And the idea is so that you is come it? at it from many angles. Sorry, so Roshan, but exactly what is it? Is yeah. the, okay, I'm a naturopath yeah. and I'm a natural healing therapist. Okay. So I've done four years training in natural healing therapies, which would be, for me, it's nutrition, herbal medicine, homeopathy. Other people might use aquapuncture. Mm -hmm. They might okay. use meditation. They might use uh, water therapy. The ones that I use for Jim were I gave him advice on diet, I gave him advice on exercise, I gave him a complex of herbs, to relieve his very high headache. He had a very, very strong headache and very high blood pressure. You and are also a qualified nurse, of course. I'm a nurse, a general nurse, a midwife, and um, a, a casualty nurse and intensive care unit. So therefore, you would have had long experience mm -hmm. in what's uh, uh, sort of loosely called conventional medicine. At what stage did you d decide that, that you needed to explore further, I would say, the alternative mm -hmm. side of medicine? What happened with me, Mark, was my son was born and within six weeks developed severe eczema. Mm -hmm. And I had, at the time I was working in Temple Street Intensive Care, and I gave him all the conventional creams, you know, the steroids and the antihistamines. That's the best childcare. You can worked. get pediatric care you can get in the country. None of that, none of that worked for Kiram. So while I was still studying, um, you know, the natural medicine, I continued to use a mixture of both for a while. Mm -hmm. And I realized that when, as I put the steroids on his skin, he developed very bad asthma. And I said, this seems to be making him worse. And I had doctors that were friends and lots of nurses in Temple Street. And I said, what am I going to do? So I started studying nutrition, first of all. And there was a little bit of an improvement. But it wasn't until he was 12. And I had to be like a donkey following a carrot. I said, I'll try this. Maybe this will help. No, no change. And it wasn't until I used the, all of them together that care on skin cleared up. So the analogy that I use is the scales. Mm -hmm. And ev we all have balance in our life. And say if we go out and we have five or six pints of Guinness, that can knock us out a little bit. And then we have a late night and we go into work the next day and somebody at the desk might have a bad throat, you know, a strep throat. And you're vulnerable, the person is vulnerable at that moment and they pick up the infection. Whereas if they'd had an early night and a good dinner the night before, their immune system is better. So the scales is a very good way to describe it because I show this to the patients. And the scales can be out of balance like that. Uh -huh. Okay, so we use all these different, like this might be aquapuncture. Okay, that might help the yeah, person. That um, something there. else might be, um, like the one that I use mostly is nutrition. You pop it back on the well, table. Just at the aspect yeah. okay. Yeah, no, they're Sorry. just in my ear saying, can't see, put it back they on can't the table. Okay, can't see. Is that okay now? Yes, yeah, yeah that's great. Okay. So, and yeah, and so in other so words, it, you put us back in balance, yeah. essentially. So, say somebody comes to me and they have, Jim came with high blood pressure, with stress, with some very severe headaches, mm -hmm. and he was quite out of balance. So I used for him a mixture of herbs. I gave him fever few. I gave him uh, wood betony in a tincture that he drinks. Mm. And I told him to exercise and to drink plenty of water. So with him, it was just three different things. And that came into balance like that. And he began to feel other benefits in his life. He began to feel more positive. He lost two to three stone in weight. And his mood and his energy went way up. Right? Now, that's the principle that I use for everything. So say if somebody was coming to me with sinusitis, that's a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. And I'd say to them, OK, you need to look at your diet. Are you eating a lot of dairy products? They say, I love cheese. I absolutely love cheese. Mm. We'd say, OK, that would be for that person. Please go off the cheese. That might make a huge difference to them to bring them into balance. Mm. Drink more water. That dilutes the mucus. Maybe use some eucalyptus oil on a tissue. That's a very simple remedy. And they say, my, my sinus have cleared up in a few days. OK. Well, so it's a combination of treatments used for the same person. But you do, you do not advocate this to the exclusion of conventional medicine? No, it, it, I, I have worked in theatre. I've seen the effect mm. of surgery. We're not against um, mm. uh, conventional medicine. But I think a lot of nat naturopaths feel that this form of medicine, a form of treatment, we use for thousands of years. And, and modern medicine or conventional medicine is a relatively um, it's re relatively new, but I've seen the effect of antibiotics. My daughter came back last year from a summer camp with the Scouts, and she had a very bad infection. And when I saw her, she was grey. And I rang the bureau doctor, 
I wasn't going to leave her mm. to my device, which mm. take a few days to get yeah. right. I said, we need a doctor. You're going to school on Monday. So we're not, I wouldn't like naturopaths to come across as being against, I, feel, I get a lot of referrals from you GPs. Feel that, or okay. They feel that we've forgotten the old ways and if we remember them and put them it's in combination. It's not just common yeah. sense. Like okay. if, if okay, we have somebody well, with sinusitis. Can I bring Jim at this stage, Because yeah, sure. Jim, you were actually referred by your GP. I was, yeah. Um, and tell us what you were suffering with when your GP sent you on to see Roshi. Now, I was in conventional medicine. I was attending doctors to be the band. You'd had headaches for eight years, eight you were years. saying. I had a car accident and two, two uh, butterfly muscles in the back of my neck were damaged. And consequently, it was just like your brain hitting the inside of your skull. And that's the way I lived, uh, well, tried to live. And what did you do? Did you, I mm. presume you took painkillers and... and right, the painkillers just everything. did not work. And that was the end of that. Uh, I, I, they gave me... There was only one that worked and that was an injection and I could only have one of those a day but I needed about 20 a day. Okay. Uh, so I just suffered the pain for many so years. It was agony. It was. It was a situation like <laughs> uh, the only piece I got was total exhaustion and sleep. I would crawl into bed. I couldn't physically walk up the stairs. Um, you know, and then I'd get into bed, I'd sleep for two hours and then I'd the, the, the cycle has started so again. So you were in pain all the time, you were pain, miserable total all the time, pain. probably never getting a proper night's sleep. So well, I didn't know what a proper night's sleep was. So uh, sleep deprived, the yes, stress yeah. of that and all the rest of it, I mean, well, it must have been a basket case. Well I wasn't really, I'm very positive in the way I think uh, and that's what kept me going. I knew there was an end of the tunnel but I couldn't see the end but I knew there was a light there. And Jim, when you were referred to Roisin, did you know anything about naturopathy or did you have Many people would have a cynical attitude towards it, or were you by that stage going, I'll try anything? I tried everything. And you were happy to try anything? <laughs> everything. I went everywhere. I absolutely went everywhere. When I went to Roisin, uh, instantly uh, it started to work. Uh, very and what did she do, Jim? What did she prescribe Well, an interesting you? story. Can I say, give you a story? Yeah. The first thing, she, when she gave me the test, she said, uh, you'll have to go off Guinness because you can't tolerate yeast and mould, and I enjoyed my Guinness. And uh, I have a Guinness occasionally, and it's, it's like a nectar to me. It's beautiful to taste, <laughs> but I know it's not good for me. <laughs> so my situation is, and, and that's how I treat life. I like life. I love people. And, and, and the love that I got through the treatment I got from my local GP is a very good friend. And he, he knew that things weren't working for me. And uh, he, put, he said, try Roshin. So I went across to Roshan and Roshan sent me straight back because she said his blood pressure is too high. And, but then there's it's a down. limit that we go to, like it was 210 over 110. Mm. And I didn't know he was referred by the GP. I said, your blood pressure, it's the red flag. You, you mm. don't, we don't treat these red flags. Go back to your GP. He said, he sent me over here. And I said, oh, well, we'll have to do our best, so won't we? So that's I'm, I'm, we I'm, came I'm, at it then from every angle. But you fundamentally changed um, Jim's diet, am I right? Yes. And, and um, once that happened, Things started to change almost immediately. Uh, really? Things started to change. Uh, the, the situation was that Roshin put together a, a, um, a thing for acute headaches. And I'd never had any peace from it. And this is like a cold wind that blows through your head. Uh, and what is that Roshin, by the way? In this bottle here, there's um, lavender, there's wood betony, fever few, something for stress, something to treat the liver. Now, it's not milk thistle. Everybody knows about milk thistle. It wasn't milk thistle. It was actually berberis and fringe tree. Mm -hmm. And the, in Chinese medicine, when we approached Jim, we're trying to cool the heat in his body. And he That's was right. very hot tempered. I could hear him coming up the stairs in the clinic. I could hear him speaking. He's much calmer now. He's much quieter. Much, he speaks much quieter than he used to. If so you'd I had a headache the for heat. eight years, you'd been bad tempered too. <laughs> 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 but I cooled the heat in the liver. It wasn't that it just gave him a headache. Herb. See, the principle of naturopathy is you're looking at a very complex case. So he was, as they say in the old days, liverish. <laughs> very liverish. If you look at the ingredients here, like each one of them, you've only one for a headache. You have other remedies in here, one to cool the liver, one to relieve his stress, and one to nourish him. So you're coming at it from, it's like a fork. So it's treating the whole many, body. The whole person. Yeah. And that's why you get good results. Yeah. So what that's why I felt the cool breeze going through my head. You could feel the pain cooling down. It was your brain was For cooling down. For the first down. time in eight years, you got relief from that headache. Yeah, that's right. That's wow, extraordinary, that isn't is. it? Well, I don't suppose you can get much better endorsement for what you do, Roisin, can you? Um, for people who want to know more, there are, we've, put, we've had details up on screen, and uh, I think, yeah, yes, we have. It's the uh, www. 
naturopathy-ireland.ie and of course there's also um, the phone number as well which is um, 01235 you have to read that because I haven't got my question. 1235 Maybe she can give you a measure for that and have to give you some bill brief for that. There you go. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Proven to improve eyesight. Excellent. There's only six herbs that have been proven. I think I have a ton. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll take a break. See you back here in a few minutes. See you in a few. Seriously, would it, would it improve my eyesight?